I'm gonna take you guys grocery shopping today. Y'all know my method of madness when it comes to nutrition is prepping your ingredients instead of prepping meals. I don't love prepped meals, that's just me. Some people do though, and if you love that, keep doing it. But I'm gonna teach you guys my trick that I've been using for the past now three years. I live with my boyfriend too, so we have to like double you know, everything we get and make sure we make enough for the week or for at least four to five days. But we're gonna go grocery shopping. We're going on a date. So I need you to get dressed right now, wear something comfy because it's freezing outside. We just got a huge storm here, but let's do this. I do just need to show you guys the view from our apartment or townhome, I guess. This isn't an apartment, but how pretty is that? The huge snowstorm came and it just made everything so white and so pretty. Just parked and there's so many people here. Why do I get like social anxiety going to the grocery store? But I shop at Safeway and Costco. Those are like the main two places that Nash and I shop at. Costco is where we get a lot of our protein sources, like bulk protein sources, because you get like so much for, I think, a decent amount. Um like a decent cost, but I've had the same, I don't know if you guys can see it, the same grocery list in my notes for the longest time. This has been our grocery list for the past like two years. And the reason that it doesn't get tiring is because when you prep ingredients, you can throw them into so many different things. And when you start eating healthier, you kind of get creative with your ingredients that you have. You're like, what can I make? tastes good and sometimes it's a little funky what you make but it's good like let me just don't judge me but let me just tell you a meal that I've been loving rice like white rice with ground turkey a little bit of like shredded cheese on top some chopped broccoli and this sugar-free ketchup from um G Hughes you know what it's so good it tastes like a burger in a bowl it is so good and I never thought that I would be mixing all of that together but it's delicious and I don't know how to describe it but sometimes you just make some funky things and I think that's kind of what this is about is just really kind of getting creative with it and not feeling like it has to be the perfect most aesthetically pleasing meal that like you can still get really good nutrition and nutrients in through just the most random mixtures but we are gonna go inside and brave the storm out here it is so insane driving out here right now there's so much snow and I already have like I've checked off on my list things that we already have at home because I don't do like sometimes we have stuff that rolls over in through the weeks and stuff so I already marked off what we do have at home and I have what we need to get that was the most productive shopping experience ever grocery shopping I should say but I was in and out in like 15 minutes and the thing about grocery shopping is that you have to get into a routine when you're there in a grocery store hopefully you're shopping at like the same ones so you can get into a routine but you have to have a routine and a plan going in having that list I was in and out a pro tip is stay towards the perimeter of a grocery store those aisles is where it gets a little a little dicey a little fun but staying to the perimeter popping in and out of idols I idols um aisles when you need certain items like keeping it productive not you know messing around is exactly the way to do it all right now it's time for the grocery haul somebody's car is getting towed outside right now so if you hear loud beeping in a loud car that's why in no particular order I have two things of egg whites i already had a bunch of eggs left over so i didn't need to get that but usually i'll get eggs egg whites there some blueberries green onions green onions really are just fun to add into meals for some flavor if you didn't already know taco bell has uh sauces that they sell at the store they're zero calories because they're hot sauce so freaking good some whipped cream cheese because sometimes you just need a bagel and cream cheese i feel like that solves a lot of problems i'm trying out a new creamer this is one from safeway from their like organics brand it's the sweet cream creamer i love sweet cream creamer this entire bag here is filled with ground turkey breast this is 99.1 which is super lean i would definitely suggest getting 93.7 or if you want to do 99.1 that's fine it's just really dry but nash and i are on like a lifestyle cut right now it's not like 
a super crazy intensive cut where we're trying to look super shredded or anything like that. That's not our intention. We don't want to look shredded. We're just on a little lifestyle cut, kind of want to cut down just a little bit. So when you do that, you kind of have to swap out certain things. So usually we do 93.7, but for the time being, we're doing 99.1, which is really good. Well, it's actually really dry, but it still can be good depending on what seasonings you use. And then this salsa verde is what we use for our crock pot shredded chicken, which I usually get the frozen bag of chicken breast from Costco. I actually have it in my freezer right now. I'm going to thaw out some chicken and do the crock pot shredded chicken today. I got some of this Mexican style cheese. You can do the reduced fat one but it's only two grams of fat less. It's like six grams instead of eight grams. And I feel like that's not a big enough difference for me to get the reduced fat. And then I got some turkey bacon. This is cured turkey chopped in form. You can get uncured as well. And this is what I usually have with my breakfast every single morning. And then I got three bags of chopped broccoli. This is honestly, you guys, this this has changed my life. If you can find frozen chopped broccoli at your store, it's literally broccoli, but chopped up into little tiny cubes. So you're not having to eat like the whole flower head. It is so easy to throw in with anything, with pasta, with like shredded chicken bowls, with taco bowls. I mean, you can add it to anything. We had a stir fry last night. I threw them in for more volume. It's so good. I got some fresh bagels, which I'm definitely gonna be having one today. Some English muffins. Nash has this with his breakfast every morning. And then lastly, I got three orange bell peppers and three red bell peppers and a red and white onion. These are things that I always have prepped in my fridge. You guys already know. And with that being said, now we're gonna get to prepping. going to prep our veggies right now. I always, every single week, have these veggies prepped in my fridge, ready to go at all times, ready to be added to anything. And I'll show you guys my magic tool. <laughs> Hopefully this shouldn't come as a surprise, but you guys, this specific dicing concoction from Amazon is the only thing you need in your kitchen. This has changed my life. Yes, I'm dramatic, but this literally has changed my life. I mean, seriously, it makes chopping veggies so much easier. And I also like, I do the like really tiny dicer part here. There's different ones where there's like bigger cubes. You can um, like peel a zucchini and stuff. Like it just makes it so much easier. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Okay, hopefully you guys can see everything that's going on here. We're gonna start with the bell peppers first. I don't do any type of like fancy way really to chop them off. I chop the top off. I chop the bottom off and then I go in on the side and basically open it up. And you basically want to peel all of this like white parts out. So you'll just kind of, kind of shave it sideways until there's no white parts and you also want to take the center out. There's a million different ways that you can chop a bell pepper. This is just the way that I personally like to do it. Then I will cut them into little pieces here and then I'll just basically put it in my veggie chopper and it dices them right up. I'll show you guys. You kind of have to give it a little bit of muscle sometimes, but anyways, here is what the bell peppers look like all chopped up. I mean, these are freaking delicious. So I'm gonna do them to all the rest of these bell peppers here and put it all in one thing. Thank you. 
So this is them at the very end, all chopped up. How freaking delicious does this look? And then I'm just gonna put it basically straight into a container here. And I will store this in my fridge to basically have ready at all times to throw in with taco bowls, with burritos, with my breakfast, with a scramble. I mean, you can really do anything with these. So the green onions next. The green onions are actually super, super easy. And I'll show you guys a trick that Nash actually taught me with these. I'm gonna rinse them really quickly and then we're just gonna chop them with scissors, put them straight into here and they're good to go. And I'm just gonna take some scissors and I have my um, like container here that I'm gonna use for them. And I just take scissors and basically just chop them up like this. I feel like it's just so much easier than chopping them with a knife. Okay, and now these are all chopped up in the container here. And honestly, green onions be making me cry too. But I'll just put this lid on. This will be ready to go, prepped in my fridge. Again, you can add these to literally anything just for some extra flavor. Now time for the, I got a yellow and red onion. I do, yeah, I switch between yellow and white because I feel like you just never know. I don't know. They taste a little different. I like to switch up the flavorings a little bit. Um, I'll just kind of peel this skin off the top. So for an onion, I also like to chop it up as well using the dicer. I'll just cut off both ends and then I will peel kind of this top layer off here. So now that it's fully peeled off, I will chop it in half and then I will chop the halves in half here. And then I will chop the halves in half, in half. And then I'll put these little cubes into the dicer as well. And get these all diced up. So here's this yellow onion all diced up. It also leads to you not having to cry. But what onions and bell peppers and all these things pretty much do is they just add extra flavor to your meals. And that's what makes the meal's not boring. That's what makes cooking the same things over and over not boring is when you're able to add in different ingredients. Cause these are ingredients, right? Just add in new flavors and different ingredients and really spice it up. I'm starting to cry. Hold on. Ooh, it kind of comes a little later when you dice it instead of like fully dicing it with a knife. And then I will put all of these into a container together as it's spilling everywhere. I'm having a little snack right now. This is the Oikos Pro vanilla yogurt. It's really good. I added just like a little bit of honey chocolate chips, um, those mini dark chocolate chips, and then some cinnamon to it just to give it some flavor. And that's kind of the hard thing with prepping all of this is that I get starving because like none of the food is prepped yet. I'm in the process of doing that. So having some good like backup option snacks for when you're hungry, when you have no food is super important. But the reason that prepping foods and ingredients like this has helped me so much in my journey is that it has saved me a lot of money. Again, this is for two people because I live with my boyfriend and if you live with your significant other, I'm sure you know how much they can eat. So it saved us a lot of money. It stops us from going out because we have stuff already that we can mix and match. And that's the fun thing about prepping ingredients and not meals is that you can get creative and make so many different kinds of meals with the ingredients that you have. And a lot of people think that this is super, super expensive and you have to live like a lavish lifestyle to constantly have like ingredients prepped. But I think it's such the opposite. I've been doing this since college when I was a broke college student working full time, going to school full time, trying to balance like all these different things. I did this in college and it saved me so, so much money when I was like really, really tight on my budget of like what I can spend. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I don't know, I'm probably beating a dead horse when I say that prepping your ingredients is just, it's the way to do it. I also have to say this, a lot of people complain about how much time it takes. A lot of people think this takes like an insane amount of time. 
it is so the opposite and once you start doing it you'll totally understand but with grocery shopping included i and then everything and then like maybe cleaning up the kitchen and stuff and getting everything fully prepped it probably takes me full three hours but three hours out of your entire week out of seven days is nothing like everything is already chopped up it's already cooked it's just in the fridge ready to be thrown together into a meal and ready to be eaten it simplifies your life so much i will never ever stop <laughs> talking about prepping ingredients and i like i said i know i'm beating a dead horse when i say this but it just is it's just the best way to go about it i have my clients do it i've put my family onto it like my mom and dad do it now it's just like is the best now time for the ingredient you all have been waiting for how do i prep my ground turkey i've been using the same exact seasonings for my ground turkey for coming up on three years and the way that i season this can be thrown into anything i've even thrown this into pasta before and you might think it's weird once you find out what seasonings i actually use but i have thrown this into pasta before to make like a you know pasta meat sauce and it's freaking delicious all right so these are the seasonings i use to season my ground turkey i'll use some pink Himalayan salt some garlic salt garlic powder onion powder cumin and the coup d'etat the coup d'etat this will change the way that you make ground turkey ground chicken and ground beef is taco seasoning it doesn't matter what taco seasoning just get a taco seasoning and put it in your freaking meat and yes before you say anything i use garlic salt garlic powder and salt because they all taste different and they just work together i promise you it's not too much but these are all the seasonings that i use that i have been using i have not changed it up one freaking bit it's delicious and don't be afraid to season your food you guys like seasonings are not bad for you I feel like some people are scared of seasonings they think it's bad for you it's not bad for you you're gonna be fine you are going to be okay use seasonings they will only just help you okay so i'll put it all in here and start just kind of grounding it up with a spatula here i also like to add some of this avocado oil because this is 99.1 it is so dry and so lean that it kind of just needs a little little bit of extra stuff in there to make it just a little bit better and a little bit easier to kind of move around this is what i mean when i say don't be afraid to season i'm just gonna mix all of this around and kind of keep seasoning throughout but do not be afraid okay we're gonna do a little tour fridge it's really sad and kind of depressing because there's not much going on down here but we've got the cream cheese i always also have 100 percent non-fat greek yogurt you guys mixing this this greek yogurt from chobani with any type of hot sauce but hot sauce no any type of hot sauce specifically this one from taco bell if you mix that two together holy crap it's so good cheese back there all of the egg whites here my eggs are there which again i already had here's kind of like the veggie fruit ish plus salsa thing i already had a bunch of spinach the bloobs all of the onions and bell peppers always got to have salsa on deck and then this is kind of our protein shelf here that's some steak from costco um here's the turkey bacon and obviously i'm going to be making the uh chicken and i just made the ground turkey so that's going to go there some bread oj some extra drinks we also are huge fans of olipops there's one left we also always have like carbonated soda water there and then the bottom one is empty these shelves not super not super fun but some eye patch stuff here okay always keep it in the fridge um here's the oikos yogurts that i get i always have those stocked in the fridge for a snack you can never have enough creamer don't judge and then some almond milk and oat milk because you never know what you're going to be feeling you can never have enough hot sauces this is the ketchup you guys that i was talking about it is literally so good but all of our hot sauces some extra sauces down there and that's kind of a fridge tour okay here's a freezer tour as well because we have a lot of important stuff in our freezer top shelf is just ice cup stuff like that this is the shrimp that we get from costco amazing source of protein here's tilapia loins this is a great lean protein no tilapia is not going to kill you it's fine here's some of the more frozen steak that we also get 
from Costco as well. Oh, that's beeping now. Okay, and then these are so good from, uh, where do we get these? I think we get these from Costco as well. These Tyson Buffalo Boneless Chicken Bites fire and then also these just bare lightly breaded chicken breast chunks again super great source of protein really really good macros this is the frozen um chicken breast fillets that we get we'll just unthaw those this is also from costco as well this is a great roasted vegetable mixture and then at the very bottom we have all of our frozen broccoli as well gotta be getting in your veggies i just prefer my veggies frozen i think it's just so much easier to maintain them because they spoil so quickly and then just some ice on the shelves and this is what the meat will look like when it's done it is freaking delicious i just tried a piece i'm so flavorful so yummy now i am going to clean up this kitchen for the crock pot shredded chicken, I have that video. I made a TikTok about it. It's actually Nash's recipe. You guys have got to check out the video. It's so funny. But I have it on my TikTok and I also have it linked to my food highlight on my Instagram. If you guys want to check that out, obviously the chicken is unthawing right now, so I can't cook it. I don't really like to cook frozen chicken. You can though in a crock pot, you can just stick the frozen chicken in there, but I like to let it thaw out first and then I will cook it in the crock pot. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. There's nothing too crazy about it. That's the same exact ingredient prep every single week. It's the same stuff, different day, but I hope that at least helped some of you guys out when it comes to getting maybe inspiration on how to grocery shop, how to prep your ingredients, different meals that you can have with it. I try to post as much on my Instagram. I post a lot of stories of like food that I'm eating on my Instagram with the recipe or at least what I have like in the meal. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and get some more meal inspiration, but that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining me today for a little fun Saturday grocery haul and ingredient prep, but I hope that you guys have the best day and I will see you soon.